in this question we need to find support reaction at c using conjugate beam method here we are given a prop cantilever beam with fixed support at a and roller support at c so at a we will have three unknown reactions two forces and one moment and at c we will have only one support reaction that is a vertical reaction force so total number of unknown reactions in this structure is 4 and because we can only draw one free body diagram there will be three equilibrium equations so degree of static indeterminacy of this structure is 1 now to solve this using conjugate beam method we need to break down this structure in two parts these two structures have exact same geometry as our given structure except we have removed the roller support at C in structure 1. We have all the original loading of our structure that is the concentrated moment and UDL whereas in structure 2 we apply a vertical reaction force RC in place of the support at C in original structure and superposition of structure 1 and structure 2 will be equivalent to original structure if vertical displacement of point C in structure 1 that is YC1 in downward direction is equals to vertical displacement of point C in structure 2 that is YC2 in upward direction and this equation is also known as compatibility condition. Now the structure 2 is very common structure for solving prop cantilever beams and we will remember the vertical displacement of point C because of RC and that will be YC2 equals to RCL cubed upon 3EI and we will use conjugate beam method to find YC1 and to use conjugate beam method we first need to find bending moment diagram for structure 1 so let us consider a section at a distance x from end A. Let's call that xx and consider free body diagram of segment right to xx. This distance will be L by 2, and because this distance is x and this distance is L by 2, this distance will be L by 2 minus x. So here this distance will be L by 2 minus X. Now at the point where we have cut the section there will be two reactions one shear force and one bending moment let's call them Vx and Mx and this section will be valid when X varies from 0 to L by 2. Now let's write sum of moments about x equals to 0 with taking clockwise moments as positive so this gives us mx because mx is in clockwise sense so it is plus the moment because of vx will be 0 because vx passes through the point then we have a concentrated moment of wl squared by 16 in clockwise sense so that will be plus wl squared by 16 and the moment because of UDL W will also be clockwise so that is plus the magnitude of that force will be W into L by 2 and the point of application of that force will be midpoint so this distance will be L by 2 minus X plus L by 4 and that will be 3 L by 4 minus x so lever arm will be 3 l by 4 minus x equals to 0 so this will give us mx equals to wlx by 2 minus 7 wl squared by 16 so this expression is valid when x lies between 0 and L by 2. Next when x 
lies from L by 2 to L then my section will be somewhere here let's say this distance is x so if I take FBD of segment right to xx then I get and this distance here this distance will be L minus x because the total length of the beam is L and this distance is x so this remaining distance will be L minus x and there will be a shear force and a bending moment at the point where I cut section and let's call them Vx and Mx and this distance is L minus x so now if I write sum of moments about x equals to 0 taking clockwise moments is positive so I get this mx is in clockwise sense so mx moment because of vx will be 0 because that passes through the point and the moment because of udlw will be clockwise so plus the magnitude of force will be w into l minus x and the point of application will be midpoint of the udl so the lever arm will be l minus x by 2 so into l minus x by 2 equals to 0 so that gives me mx equals to minus w l minus x squared by 2 so this expression will be valid when l by 2 less than x less than l so for the given beam 1 we have the bending moment is WLX by 2 minus 7WL squared by 16 when 0 is less than X less than L by 2 and minus WL minus X whole squared by 2 when L by 2 is less than X less than L and this will be the bending moment diagram for our beam now the conjugate beam of given beam 1 will be at A we have a fixed support in given beam so we will have a free end at A in conjugate beam at C in the given beam we have a free end so in our conjugate beam at C we will have a fixed support and the loading on the conjugate beam will be M upon EI diagram of given beam so the loading on conjugate beam will be and the magnitude is mx upon ei now we want to find vertical displacement of point c in the given beam and that will be equals to bending moment at point c in our conjugate beam and that i can find by considering free body diagram of my conjugate beam and this moment will be m conjugate at c so if i write sum of all the moments about c equal to 0 in the conjugate beam with taking clockwise moments as positive then this gives me the moment because of mx can be found using integration so if i take a strip of width dx at a distance x from a and here note that i am taking x from and a because this expression for mx is obtained by taking a as origin so here i have to take joint a as my origin so magnitude of the force because of this small strip will be mx upon ei into dx and because we are writing moment about point c so the lever arm for this will be the distance l minus x so that moment will be equals to m x upon e i d x into l minus x and that moment is in anti-clockwise sense about c so i'll put minus sign and this i'll have to integrate from 0 to l then this m c c is also in anti-clockwise direction so that will be minus m c c and the moment because of this horizontal force and the vertical force will be zero because they both pass through point c so that will be 
equals to 0 or m c c will be equals to minus integral 0 to l mx l minus x dx upon ei now i can substitute values of mx from this expression and here note that i have different expressions over different intervals of length so i'll have to break down my integral into two parts for 0 to l by 2 i will use this expression and for l by 2 to l i will use this expression so my integral will be and if i evaluate the integral corresponding to moment at cc then i get 25 wl to the power 4 upon 192 ei and this is equals to y c1 in downward direction and using the compatibility condition i get y c1 equals to y c2 that implies r c l cubed upon 3 ei equals to 25 wl to the power 4 upon 192 ei and that gives me r c equals to 25 wl upon 64 